Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you what the slope and the y-intercept are. So when you're given an equation of a line or a graph of a line, we know two really important things about it. M always stands for our slope and B always stands for our y-intercept. But it's important to see what these things look like on a graph. So if you are given a line, we'll label our axes such as this one right here. My y-intercept is the point at which this line of mine hits the y-axis. So here's my line, here's my y-axis. The point at which they intersect is right here. It's at negative 2. So that means that my y-intercept, or my b, is negative 2. Okay, so it's just where your line hits the y-axis. So if I drew another line for you, let's say I had, this is y is 3. My line's going that way. Now this line hits the y-axis at 3. It hits the, the y-axis when y is 3. So for this line, my b is equal to 3. Okay? So your y-intercept is just where your lines hit the y-axis. Now your slope is how steep your line is. And the way that you measure your slope is the rise over the run. Meaning, if you pick any two points on your line, let's say I have this point, if I'm looking at this line right here, and this point right here, and we'll estimate that to be 2, 0. If I want the slope of this line, I have to see how many rises and runs it takes me to get from point A to point B. So from point A to B, I have to go up 2 and then over 2. So my rise over my run is 2 over 2 because I went up 2 over 2, and that just reduces to 1. So that means that for this line right here, my slope is 1. So your slope just tells you how steep your line is. And the bigger the slope, the steeper the line is. So that is the definition of your slope and y-intercept.